I don't compare our little two, three million dollar year budget to um to Harvard that has had a 400 year head start. I compare us to where Harvard was in their first five or six years. And I say, we're actually ahead of the game because when Harvard first got started, they were so raggedy that they named the whole damn school after a guy named John Harvard. And all he did was give them one building. Their school was so raggedy, they couldn't even afford a building. The guy gave them a building. And they said, we'll name the whole school after you. That's how Harvard became Harvard. So, so this kind of these kinds of stories need to be shared. Because, because when you see when you're kind of being inundated with shiny Negroes on TV, because so and so got a job playing for the, you know, for the Cincinnati Bengals, or or this other guy got a job, you know, with, with Paramount Pictures, and somebody else got a job with, you know, working for some corporation or whatever, got a deal with Netflix or whatever, and, and and they never they don't really show you how these companies started off at the beginning. You know, you're, you're literally seeing somebody who's simply riding on the train that was already moving for decades before they even got there. A lot of your institutional trains have not moved because you don't spend enough time learning about the people that are willing to do the less glamorous, extremely difficult work. The United States is a pretty powerful country. But the people who really did the work, your ancestors who didn't get the credit, but also their ancestors too. They had, they got ancestors too who contributed. So let's be clear about that. We got to be honest on that. But all of our ancestors, they were, they were, they were in the raggedy stage. They were, they were working hard. They went out west when there wasn't no, uh, it wasn't no McDonald's out there. wasn't no jobs. wasn't no universities. <laughs> they went out west when there was nothing but like wild buffalo and and, and Native Americans that wanted to kill you, perhaps rightfully so, and 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 Death Valley where you're gonna die trying to get across the damn desert. They did the raggedy work. So we 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 don't we got enough shiny black people on TV. We need more people willing to do the hard raggedy work. You know, and and I, and I encourage anybody who's built like that to keep on working. You know, because in my book, you are the heroes of this community. 